Hi, I'm Dustin. I'm a firefighter in Rocky Point, Oregon. Hello, I'm Mike Cook, fire chief for Chiloquin Fire and Rescue, right here in Chiloquin, Oregon. Hello, my name is Jennifer Case, and I work for the Oregon Department of Forestry. Hi, I'm Brittany Lindsay, and I also work for Oregon Department of Forestry. My name's Evan. I'm a firefighter for the U.S. Forest Service. And though we may all wear different uniforms and drive different colored trucks, we're all here today to help Smokey and Sparky prevent fires. Hey Chief, what are some common causes of house fires? I fought a lot of fires that could have been prevented. Kids, do you think you can work with us to prevent fires from happening? Yes! Smokey? Okay, Smokey! Sparky? Okay, Sparky! Should we show them how? Yes! Items like candles that are left burning unattended or near objects that can catch fire are one thing that can start a dangerous fire in your home. Not only do open flames cause many house fires each year, they can make a dangerous, colorless gas called carbon monoxide. Sparky, which is better? A real candle or an LED candle? An LED candle! Never sleep with a candle that's burning. Okay, okay Sparky! Any heaters, stoves for cooking, and electrical appliances can start a fire if not properly used. Items such as plastics, paper, curtains, or blankets that can easily catch fire should never be close to electrical outlets or candles. One thing that helps warn us of a fire is a smoke detector. Its alarm makes a loud warning sound, telling you and your family that there may be a fire in your home. If you hear the alarm, everyone needs to get out and gather somewhere, like your mailbox or the sidewalk in front of your home. Pick a special spot that all of your family knows to go to. If you have access to a phone, call 911 or ask a neighbor to call. If it's smoky, get down low and crawl across the floor. This may allow you to see better and breathe less smoke and hot air. Exit the house and wait for firefighters to arrive at your family's special gathering place. Remember, smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors have batteries like this one. You may have to test them twice a year to make sure they're still functioning properly. By hitting the button at the front of it, it, it will be loud. And you may also need your parents to replace the detector if it's a disposable one or have them replace the battery. In their full turnouts, firefighters can make funny noises and even look a little scary. Remember, don't hide from them. Firefighters wear heavy clothes and tanks on their backs, breathing masks and helmets to protect them from the heat of the fire. Underneath all that equipment is a friendly firefighter like me. If you hear them call out, Fire department! Anybody in here? Call out for them as loud as you can, so that way they can find you and bring you to safety. Hey kids, do you want to help Smokey prevent wildfires? Okay, Smokey! I'm a wildland firefighter, and these are the packs that we use to keep us safe while fighting fires. Wildland fires are uncontrolled fires that often start in rural areas consisting of grass, brush, and trees. Wildfires can be very dangerous. Not only do these fires threaten our forests, but the wildlife that live in these areas. Animals like bears, owls, deer, foxes, fish, and beavers live in the forest. When fires burn in the forest, it can hurt the things that animals need to survive, like their food, water, and shelter. These fires can spread easily into towns and communities, burning down homes and businesses, knocking out power and internet for days. Did you know that 9 out of 10 wildfires are caused by careless humans? Hey Smokey, do you like to go camping? I love to go camping with my family and friends. Having campfires while camping is a really fun part, right? I bet you guys like to have campfires too. 
The problem with campfires are sometimes they can get away from us and cause wildfires. You have to be very careful with them. That's why when I go camping, I always remember to have water and a shovel nearby. That way when I go to sleep or when I'm all done camping, I can put the fire out. You can make sure that your parents pour lots of water on the fire and use a shovel and water to stir the dirt in and then feel with the back of your hand to make sure that the ground isn't hot and the fire is out. What if we still see smoke? Do we leave the fire? No, Smokey! You will know that your parents did a good job of putting the fire out when the ground is cold to the touch and there is no more smoke showing. Remember that if it's too hot to touch, then it's too hot to leave. Another thing that can lead to wildfires is off-road driving especially when there's tall, dry grass and brush in the roadway. The vehicle's hot engine and exhaust may spark a fire. Make sure and tell your parents to not do that. Now, not all fire is bad. Forests require low intensity burning to help clear out buildups of underbrush. Agencies like the one I work for and tribes have used tools like this to clear the underbrush. This is a drip torch. We use it to implement prescribed fires that will reduce that underbrush and reduce the risk of devastating wildfires. Kids, do you know what this is? It's a lighter. It's a tool that adults use to start fires, like for their wood stoves, for example, or for that campfire we talked about earlier. Lighters and matches are really hot, and they're not toys. They're tools to be used by adults. If they're not used appropriately, these can cause a wildfire. They can lead to a lot of destruction. If you ever find one of these, remember they should go back to an adult. Now fireworks, I love fireworks. Fourth of July is one of my favorite holidays. Fireworks can cause fires also, and they too should only be used by adults. I'm the fire chief, the fire chief of Chiloquin Fire and Rescue. And even I've made mistakes in the past. Do not play with matches. There was one time that I played with matches and almost burned down the mailbox. It was a bad day. Mom wasn't happy, the mailman wasn't happy, Smokey wasn't happy, and Sparky wasn't happy. Bad day, kids, bad day. Playing with fireworks, though they're beautiful, are dangerous. These fires are not just dangerous to animals in the environment. Large fires can often cost tens and even hundreds of millions of dollars to put out. Do you know how much money that is? No! A Lamborghini cost about one million dollars. Imagine a large fire could cost 100 Lamborghinis. Okay, Smokey! Kids, if your parents are looking to burn debris piles in the backyard like leaves or pine needles, make sure that they check with their local fire department to make sure that it's okay to do that and that it's a good condition to burn in where things can be safe. Also remember that you can't leave those piles unattended. Somebody needs to be there the whole time. I've had many kids that have called 911 and they've been for fires or if grandma's fallen down or if something is not right, please call 911 and we will come and help you. My friends and I are always there so that we can give you a helping hand. Well guys, Smokey and Sparky are telling me it's time to go, but we've just learned so much today. I'm super excited. Now we know you will help Sparky, Smokey, and all of us firefighters in preventing fires as we work together for safety. We've learned that firefighters, although sometimes they look scary, are here to help. Smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors are there to also keep us safe. If we ever hear one go off, remember, get out of the house. Matches and lighters aren't toys. They're hot and dangerous, and they can cause wildfires if not used appropriately. They're tools, tools that should be used by adults. Do you think Smokey would want you playing with things like lighters or matches or fireworks if you found them? No, Smokey! If you ever find any of those objects, tell the nearest adult and help us Be fire safe! And keep Oregon green. Sparky, Smokey, time to say goodbye. Working together for your safety! This video was made possible by a grant from KeepOregonGreen.org. Only you can.